606 this morning and a local man is showing support for a Chardon football player who carried a thin blue line American flag out onto the field on Friday night. First News reporter Carolyn Sistran joins us now live in the newsroom with the latest on this controversy. Carolyn. Brandon, the football team at Chardon High School in Geauga County are facing backlash over what they're, what are some are considering a political act as they carried out the thin blue line American flag uh, uh, before their game on Friday. And many people took to social media to say that they not only condemn that act, but they believe that that flag is racist. Now, the member of the Chardon football team that owns the flag says that his grandfather was in law enforcement and right now he's in poor health. And he told our sister station, Fox 8 in Cleveland, quote, I just wanted to be able to do something meaningful for my family and everyone who puts on the badge in the morning. Now, the Chardon School District has investigated and concluded that displaying the, that flag could be perceived as political activity on school grounds, meaning that the players can't fly the flag anymore. Now, one Austin Town man is getting involved to support the players, saying that the players should be allowed to support law enforcement. Well, number one, we want to support the kids that tried to support the law enforcement officers. And in return, we're also supporting law enforcement uh, for what they do every day. And Eric Downing organized the Support Chardon Football Players Thin Blue Line Rally on Facebook. It will be held Friday at 6 at the Square in Chardon, where supporters will then march to the high school football stadium. And in the next half hour, I'll have more from Eric Downing on why he got involved and also from the Chardon Police Department, who are now weighing in on the controversy. But now, live in the newsroom, Carolyn Sistrand, First News This Morning.